no, 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 Hurricane Ian is gonna kill us all, baby. Fuck, we all gotta run, run. Jeez Louise, oh my God. You know, <laughs> sorry about that. Hello, everybody, what's going on? You know, as a Floridian, I've been born and raised in this wonderful state we call Florida. <laughs> I've seen dozens upon dozens of hurricanes. But it's funny because never have I ever seen more hysteria from hurricanes. Like now, I, I it, it, personally, I think it's because since we have all these new... Floridians, new people coming into the state, thinking that oh no, oh no, we're uh, we're, we're we're screwed. Like, why did we move down here? You know what the fuck are we thinking? It's just like, first off, you should have realized that this was going to happen in the first place. You you nitwit. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, I mean, look, hurricanes are to be taken serious, of course, but. As a Floridian who's been here his entire life, you know, and a lot of other people who probably will be seeing this probably are the same way as well, too. You just got to understand, you know, the worst thing you can do is is, is freak out about it. All you got to do is be prepared, you know, do, do what you think is right. Like, if you want to evacuate into a different part of the state or even out of the state, go ahead. Who gives a shit? Do you do you, man. Absolutely. Um... I have been getting okay. So, I'm in the Tampa area. I'm in I'm in uh, uh, Clearwater. You know they're saying originally it was going to be hitting smack like the 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 eye is going to be smack and dab right onto us. Of course, you know I'm having some uh, you know family members saying like, hey, you might want to you know reconsider uh, getting out and uh, and and going towards uh, back uh, back north. And I'm like, yeah. I know it's going to be a four. That, that That's what they're speculating, because right now it's leaving Cuba. They're saying it's going to be a four when it leaves Cuba or something like that. And then it's going to weaken as it gets to Florida. And I'm like, okay, if it weakens when it gets to Florida, I mean, if, it's going to go from a three to a one, like, in a matter of, like, hours and stuff. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. Is it worth it, really? I don't know. But now the new news is saying it's going over towards, I think, east near uh, sarasota or fort myers or something like that so i mean it, that that really sucks too because i got you know good friends in that area too and i and i hope you know people who are who listen to this who are in the fort myers sarasota area port charlotte area i pray for you guys hope you guys are going to be just fine which i know you guys will just play it smart really um but good lord i mean <laughs> it's it's so it's it's crazy, man. It's 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 absolutely absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's fucking hurricanes, man. I don't know what it is, man. I feel like you know just since like the last couple of years, especially when COVID was a real issue, I feel like yeah, just the news just wants just to constantly spread that fear. You know, they're like, oh, and we can't do it now with 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 COVID anymore. So we next big thing. Oh, let's let's do it with a hurricane or oh, let's do it with monkeypox or this and that and the other. I mean, I don't I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Just be smart. Don't don't do anything stupid. Uh, have as have as much have as much food ready. Have as uh you know have your alcohol ready, of course, as well too. Uh, just have fans ready. Have anything you know any supply have your sandbags by your doors i mean i'm in an apartment complex so luckily you know this place is kind of a uh kind of a fortress so i'm not too worried about uh our how our our, our uh, apartment building getting damaged or anything but i am worried about flooding so that's why we got these called these little things called uh dam readies or ready dams or something like that they're, they're, they're kind of like uh sandbags like when they when they touch water they inflate and you just put them by the door we got like a little we got like six of them so we're just going to put them by our door and pray to God nothing comes in our apartment. That pissed me off even more. But another thing that I uh, decided why I wanted to stay as well too is because of uh, looters. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I just have a big I just have a big problem. You know, if I'm gone for a couple of days while uh, 
you know, things start to, um, you know, heal after the storm, if, if the storm is catastrophic, which I don't think it's going to be too catastrophic. Um, probably not here per se, but anyway, regardless, um, yeah, that's my biggest concern too is, you know, I, I come back and all my shit's gone, you know, not just like my food and all the thing, you know, like my computer's gone, my TV's gone, my PlayStation's gone, God forbid Miranda stuff's gone too. Like our safe is gone and everything. That'd be horrible. That, that, that'd be the fucking worst thing ever. I would hate that. We both hate that. Absolutely. So that's why I'm like, you know, maybe I should just stay just in case some asshole tries to come in breaking our stuff. That's why I, I carry a shotgun and a pistol with me and no one's going to come fucking in because I'll fuck you up. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. Well, I mean, of course, if I had to do, if I had to do what I had to do, I would do it, of course. But, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it. I don't like hurting people. <laughs> but anyway, fucking hurricane. God, good Lord. But uh, other than that, you know, I know it's been a little bit, um, but we just hit 2K subscribers on YouTube. Holy shit. That's insane. I can't I can't believe that I, I, I would make it that far. I mean, let's let's keep going. My, my, my goal is to get to 100,000. I think that would be a big goal of mine. I've been, I've been fucking around with YouTube since I was like, 14 back in like 07 2007 and I've always wanted to try to figure it out I never really figured out you know how YouTube like works and whatnot I've always tried like you know making videos tried you know being creative being funny being whatever um you know I hate to say it and I know there's if, if there's bigger YouTubers out there that see this video thank God for shorts <laughs> <laughs> and a, a lot of them, a lot of the, you know, the OG YouTubers hate shorts as well. And I'm sorry, I apologize. But you got, you got to, you got to remember. You know, I feel like a lot of websites want not websites, but uh, you know, social media platforms kind of want to be like Vine or TikTok. You know, because I mean, Vine, like, Vine, Vine was the original TikTok, and uh, you know, my TikTok has been has been kind of popping off lately, which is really nice. So then I've been uh. Uh, trying to get more people who follow me on there to go over here, and then obviously I've been posting a lot of shorts on here YouTube, and that's been working a lot, uh, working pretty well as well too. And I'm really trying to, you know, I would love to try to push more people to listen to the podcast as well. Um, I was gonna do one with with with, uh, with Mikey today, uh, but you know, we're just been so fucking busy, you know, just trying to get pre uh, get everything prepared. And plus, he's down in Sarasota as well, so. Um, storm's gonna be hitting first. I think it's gonna be hitting like tomorrow morning, like at five o'clock. And uh, you know, he's probably gotta get shit prepared as well. So, uh, bless him. You know, God bless him. Hope, hope, hopefully, he and his his gal and his gal's family stay safe. Uh, I obviously hope everyone else stays safe as well too. Which I know you guys will. You guys are if you if you live in Florida, you know. I know you guys will be just fine, just fucking fine. But. Other than that, what else has been going on with me? I am um, obsessed with Cobra Kai Season 5. Jesus Christ. Have you guys seen Cobra Kai Season 5? It's insane. Oh, my God. I mean, there were a few things I thought were a little cheesy, per se. Like, I think when it came to, like, certain uh, animation. Like, when uh, Johnny and Robbie were in Mexico, there was a um, a part where, yeah, they are in the car several times. And I thought the... Uh, um, the background where they're driving in the car, where um, they showed like them driving with the exterior in the background, looked a little cheap to me. Not gonna lie, but other than that, man, I thought the I thought it was fantastic. I thought um, storyline was good. There were a few things I wish, I wish personally, I I would have uh, wanted. I really wish. A spoilers ahead as well too. If people have not seen Cobra Kai season five, just warning you. Um, I really wish uh, Mike Barnes had more of a part. I mean, there wasn't really much they could have done with him in the first place. Even though he, yeah, I mean, I thought you know, I thought the way they treated him was good. You know, they, um, you know, they, they, they kind of showed they they showed him as a uh, a for owner of a furniture store. He said to Daniel, you know, instead of using my my hands, my fists for. Uh, for hurting people, I use them in a whole different way, and I make, you know, nice little furniture. I thought that was cool. I'm like, yeah, good for you, Barnes. Hell yeah, man. Absolutely. Um, but it, it kind of sucks that they didn't bring him back until the last episode again. And I was really hoping he was going to have more of a role in that episode as well. 
because if you think about it, you know, Mike Barnes, he probably could have been, he probably had the potential to be the strongest fighter in the series because he took out that one sensei uh, in, uh, that was one of the Cobra Kai senseis like that, you know, and then he got blindsided by like a statue. It was it was out cold for um for the rest of the fight until uh, you know after Johnny started whooping everyone's ass, which was awesome by the way. I I love I love that episode. <laughs> can you know you can't can't doubt Johnny Lawrence, man. He's the he's the goat, absolutely. You know all the characters in in that show are are are, are fantastic. Um, you know I thought I thought Robbie's character for sure definitely redeemed himself because he was kind of starting to annoy me a little bit. Um, after season two, season three or whatever, but you know. Um, the, the, the character who I'm, who I least like the most, uh, it used to be Samantha, now it's Anthony LaRusso, I don't know, I just don't, I mean, I, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, no, it has nothing to do with him being a, um, um, a bully to Kenny, per se, I, I think it's just mostly because, I don't know, just, they made him too much of a wimp, if you think about it, like, like, Daniel LaRusso, when he was a kid, was not much of a wimp i mean he was wimpy but he never backed down from a fight you know anthony does even though this is i'm talking about before daniel even knew karate you're not knew karate but was practicing karate with mr miyagi this is when he was just moved from new jersey to california said he'd done some karate lessons at the ymca and whatnot but getting a little off topic here but um i would love to see season six um too bad it's not going to be out for a while, unfortunately. Um, but I know there's, I know the speculation there's going to be a big movie coming out as well too. Who knows what's going to happen, man? I would love to see a, a, a Miyagi prequel where you know it's a young Miyagi in the army, or a young Miyagi in, in um, you know learning uh, his father's karate style at a young age and whatnot. I don't know. I, th- I think it'd be really cool, man. Or even like a you know spinoff of all. The kids like Miguel and, and Hawk and all of them in college or something like that. Who knows? There's a lot they can do. And I think those guys, John Hurwitz, Josh Held, Hayden Schlossberg, I tip my hat to those guys. Those guys are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it really makes me jealous as a writer i'm like dang i wish i could i I could have fucking thought of something like that you know but whatever you know they 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 gave us this magical gift and you know we gotta gotta be proud gotta be happy anyway well yeah that's that's my time i'm just i just came here for a little update just talk shit about the hurricane give you guys some tips talk about some cobra kai (laughs) hi-ya Anyway, um, yes, drop a like, drop a comment on YouTube as well. Um, just let me know how you think of this as well. Um, hope you guys who are in the South Florida area stay safe from with the hurt from the hurricane as well, or even just in Florida in general, because I know Florida's gonna be getting hit pretty good. Just stay safe out there, guys. I'll try to you know make more of these. Hopefully, like maybe twice a week, three times a week, it really depends, shorts I can make as much as I want, because it's so easy to make, like that, you know, and, uh, yeah, that's all I got, love you guys, you guys have an awesome day, and let's, let's rock and roll, I guess. (laughs)